So let me wrap up this uh, general animation technique tutorial by um, reminding you of the layer settings, which I, uh, I just set this, set this dialog back up by uh, left clicking here. Um, if you recall, we used this to preview the um, uh, the previous frames, like an onion skin or light, light table trip, which is really handy. But another thing you could do that's great, let's say you wanted to give yourself guidelines. Let's say you were working on a running or walking animation and you really wanted to remind yourself where the floor was, so you plant the feet properly, uh, and maybe a general height for the head so you knew that to, you know, when you're drawing the new frames, you don't make the character's head too high or too low relative to the average uh, height line for the head. The way you can do, it, do that is going to file a new project <coughs> and uh, make sure it's the same resolution as the animation you're working on, it's the same screen, uh, screen size. And then uh, keep current palette, it's a good habit to keep that on, I'll explain why later. Uh, click OK. And now we have, if you look down here, we have two projects. We have the untitled one we just created and we have uh, this one here. And the color, the palettes are the same. But what I want to make sure to do is right-click, uh, first use color selector and right-click on the background color. And then I'm going to use page up or page down to get to uh, this other project. And I'm going to press Shift-K to clear. Uh, and I'm going to clear this image to that color. I'll explain more later. But I'm going back now to the other image. I'm making sure both are zoomed out to uh, the actual resolution. And I'm going to use Shift-R by default, which is this um, filled rectangle drawing mode. And I'm just going to pick a vibrant color. It's a purple color here. And I'm going to use this project to see, but I'm not starting to draw yet. I'm just using it as a, as a guide. And then I'm going to page up or page down to get to the next project and draw my guideline for the feet. And just go back again and draw my guideline for the head. And now I'm going to go back and make sure I'm at the actual animation, uh, which due to a crash I caused earlier, it's now called Emergency Backup Zero. Um, let's ignore that for a while. And um, so now what we need to do is make that guideline visible. So all we have to do is go into the layer settings and uh, press plus. And we're going to call this guidelines. And we're going to tell it that we're using Untitled 1, which was the other project we created. And as you can see, this is why I made sure that it was the same background color, uh, so that uh, I, it's very easy for me to tell uh, which color is transparent, which is why you can see through the gray and you can see uh, only the lines, which are green right now because rainbow color shapes is selected. So since there are only guidelines, it doesn't really matter. But I'll just turn that off so it's my original purple color. Click OK, and now, if you notice, no matter which frame I go to, the guidelines are visible. Uh, yet, I can take another color. I can draw right through or over the guidelines, uh, yet if I erase with the right mouse button, the guidelines are still there. So it's just a really handy way uh, if you want to give yourself uh, some kind of guidelines, or let's say you're designing a sprite and you want to see the sprite, over the actual background, let's say you've already designed an environment. If you want to make sure the contrast and colors of your sprite are working well in the environment it's going to be made for, it, then you could actually load the environment, the entire background, full detail background, behind the, uh, the character itself that you're drawing, even if you're not animating, uh, much like layers in Photoshop. Then you can erase and edit your sprite as much as you want and grab it as a brush, and of course it won't pick up the guidelines and then you can even hide the guidelines uh, and save your image. And uh, and it's just a very convenient way to work uh, and get an excellent idea of where things are going.